give it up for Aisha Ali. Hello. Um, I usually don't do a prelude before I perform, but I thought it was really important to note that I said I'd never do a love poem, and that's not going to change. Um, this poem is going to give you heaps of existential dread, so if you're already having a bad time, you're going to have a much worse time. <laughs> There's this line from Rumi that goes, you have to keep breaking your heart until it opens. And it's very sadistic, which I'm into, but also I've been inspired to write the most heartbreaking questions I could possibly think of. Or alternatively, you can ask them in an elevator. So this is called Elevator Questions You Can Ask Other Than The Weather. What need is there to injure your body after it is already carcass? Whose sadness did you carry yesterday? And to whom will you deliver it tomorrow? Why do you preach of honey and then slander the bees? How are you grown up? still letting people down. Why do you not call upon God? Do you not know that to not bless is to curse? Why do you call yourself wound? Do you not know that to praise is to give power? Whom will you love and how will you arrive at their feet? Why do you reserve your judgment before you reserve your seat? Why do you hold people accountable for your lack of abolition? Why do you tell me of your greatest triumph before you tell me of your greatest tragedy? Did you not know that who you are at your lowest defines you more than who you are at your highest? Which lover's lines are still on your lips? If you don't think you deserve better, would you say the same thing to your mother? How much unkindness are you stained in? When you were embezzled by empire, did you think you would just become a small brown girl at the foot of her bed begging to have her oppressor's blood? Why do you bargain with your own tongue? That is to say, where do you bury your honesty? We are litters of inherited ache. My dad says, what luxury it is to only ever be at war with yourself. I say, except wars end. Thank you. Woo!